<laughs> first of all, do that. Um, Cause coming here, my daughter was giving me some issues. Y'all know how that go if y'all have teenagers. So, head straight now. Wait. Anyways, um, if you guys want, you can follow my blog at camibweb.wordpress.com, and you can also find my inspirational page on Facebook now. Yay! I have a inspirational Facebook page separate from my Facebook. It is Lady Cami B, inspirational poetess. But you can start typing in it'll show. Anyway, <laughs> so let me get to it without further ado, because y'all didn't come up here to hear me speak. You came up here to hear me actually do my poetry, so I'm going to go straight from my blog. So, as I always do, what do I do? New shit. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yes. it's the brand so, new, new. It's two days ago. We're working on it. <laughs> so, it's pretty new. You guys can just, you know how I do when I come up here, y'all just go with the flow on what you hear. Okay? We'll see. So, we'll see what you got. Yeah. This, but I'm going to tell you a summary about what I'm going to do. This piece is called Just Delete. So, this is, you know, I'm always doing stuff about getting over somebody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they know me by now. Okay. It's called Just Delete. Okay. Oh. You know, I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you, you. I'm messing with you. You can always joke before you Yeah, get it. I'm not a comment, but anyway. One, it was April 17th of 2016 when I sent an email to my ex to ask how was he doing since he hasn't been in contact. It was in my mind a breach of contract between us since, especially since I just got back from my grandmother's funeral. She died three weeks before that date. I remember not wanting to be hurt anymore because I was grieving, my heart was heavy and sore. I had a feeling back then there was more to his absence, but I only had a fraction of intuition. Today I find myself rereading that message from my sent items. I just quickly hit delete. <laughs> Two, it was June 23rd of that same year and I sent another message. And today I realized by this date he must have already moved in as a guest at his new girlfriend's residence with her four young kids. Or was this her husband's place? Anyway, this email simply was a pic of my proud moment with my retired Navy chief and I asked him if he remembered seeing his familiar face. Well, I guess he was too busy to notice the message or the pic. Damn, just press delete. Three, it was August 23rd of 2016 and it was my first day back from our family trip in five days. In five days before I would flip and completely lose my mind. My emotions were in suspense because even during the trip he was distant because he was close to a new source of love that I was grasping for from his soul. But anyway, this email simply asks for his presence at a future event. Oh man, that would have been a great goal 11 months before our planned wedding day. I guess it would have been nice for him to say at the Navy ball that I was gonna be his wife. Well, I guess that was my loss. I guess that won't happen, not in this life. Four, today is May 23rd of 2017. So, I guess that's just old news. Dilly. The next day, August 4th, 2016, and there was two additional, also final emails sent during that month because a new me was being birthed after the 8th of August when I found out. And I decided he can't hurt me more than once. One email, only four days after I discovered he moved on. I shared the same event and wrote that I hope he'll enjoy it with his upgraded version of me in his life, his future, maybe his wife. The second message, sending him a reminder of all he used to be. Well, hold shift key, press that up arrow, highlight these two, delete. <laughs> Five, the replies from April 17th of 2016 were brief. And he began giving me times he'd call, but then he'd leave me hanging like I was a side chick he was banging. 
truth is, there existed probably out of the total four years we were tied together, there existed three years where we enjoyed our emotional weather. One word answers pointed to the demise of our empire falling, a crack in our one solid frame that set my heart on fire and led to the many times I cried. Here I am today, as I sigh and take a deep breath, now in 2017. I just hold down that shift key, press that up arrow, the remainder of the way, let go of that shift key and what's remaining inside of me. Press delete, period. Log off, period. Now I'm choosing to restart, period. The only thing I won't delete now is my heart. Six, so this is me starting over daily because I have seen God heal me lately because he has the key to these emotions that have me bound. Now I, even me, can walk free. Just delete.